Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about shopping cart. So let's see how can we create shopping cart. Uh, for creating shopping cart, we use uh, shopping cart package. So first of all, let's install the shopping cart package. Uh, for that, switch to the command prompt. And uh, for the installing the shopping cart package, uh, just type here the command composer space require a space hardwin uh, forward slash shopping cart and now press enter all right package has been installed uh, now switch to the project and uh, let's configure this package so for that just open the just go inside the app directory uh, uh, just go inside the config directory and just open the app.php file and inside this file uh, just go inside the providers array and uh, here uh, just add here cloud Loadman shopping cart slash shopping cart service provider colon colon class. All right, and now inside mm -hmm. aliases array, uh, just add here single quote cart arrow. Lord shopping cart facade colon colon class uh, slash cart and then just write here colon colon class all right now save this file And now let's uh, publish the configuration. So uh, for publishing the configuration, uh, go to the command prompt and uh, just type in the command php artisan vendor colon publish a space dash dash provider is equal to and inside the double quote you try to write the cloud cloud man slash shopping cart service provider and dash dash tag is equal to config all right and now press enter now let uh, let's run the application so just type here php artisan sir now switch to the project and just close this app.php file and now just open this uh, sub component class file so just go inside the app directory then http live wire and from here uh, just open the soft component.php file and inside this class file uh, let's create a function uh, for storing the product into the cart so inside this class uh, let's create the function so just write here public function and let's say function name is store and inside this function uh, just pass here three parameter. First parameter is product ID, product underscore ID, and second parameter which is product name, product underscore name, and third parameter which is product price, product underscore price. All right. 
and inside this function uh, just write here cart and also import here the cart so just write here use cart and here just call the add function and inside this add function just write here just pass here the product id product underscore id and second parameter is product name so just write here dollar product underscore name and third parameter is quantity so just pass here the quantity one and uh, and last parameter which is product price so just write here dollar product underscore price all right and also associate with model so right here arrow associate and inside this just pass here the model name uh, model and product so first add here the path app slash models slash product right and uh, now uh, let's add the message inside the session so just write your session and call here the class method class and inside this class method just pass here the key session key let's say section key is subfish underscore message and simply add here the message item added in cart all right and after this just return here return redirect and just write here the route and inside this route just pass here the route name of cart all right so just open the web.php file so just go inside the route uh, routes directory and from here open web.php file and this is the cart route so first of all just add here the route name name product dot cart now save this file and just copy this route name and inside the sub component of php file just paste here the product dot cart all right now save this file all right now uh, now open the sub component view file so for that just go inside the resources directory then views and live wire and from here just open sap uh, sop dash component dot play dot php file and uh, inside this forest directive uh, you can see here the add to cart link all right so inside this uh, add to cart link just add here wire colon uh, click event dot prevent and simply call here this method Four method. All right. So just copy and paste here. Inside the double quote. And inside this store method, just pass here three parameters. First is product ID, second name, and third is product price. All right. So just add here the double curly bracket and simply pass here product arrow. ID and second parameter which is product name. So first of all add the single quote and inside the single quote add your double curly bracket then dollar product arrow name and last of parameter is price so add your comma dollar product 
you type the double curly bracket dollar product arrow price so regular price regular underscore price all right now just save this file and now open the uh, card component view file so from here just open card dash component .php file and inside this file uh, let's make things dynamic on this card page so first of all let's change here the text card and for the home link uh, just add here the forward slash all right and now inside this product card you can see here the product item this is the first product item first li second all right uh, just remove this second li and before this first li uh, let's add here the for each directive at the date for each and inside this for each let's add here the card colon colon contain as dollar item all right and uh, let's add the date in for each this what from here and paste after this li here all right and before this three tag uh, just add here at the rate if card column column count is greater than zero uh, then execute this line and otherwise after this even just add here at the eight in uh, else and inside this first part simply print here the message no item in card all right and simply close here the interactive so just write here in it all right okay now inside the product image uh, just remove this uh, image name and simply add here the forward slash then double curly bracket dollar item arrow image all right and this is the product name so just remove this and simply add a double curly bracket dollar item arrow name and this is the product price so just remove this and uh, here simply write double curly bracket dollar item arrow regular underscore price and this is the product quantity so if add this value just add here dollar item arrow to t by all right and this is the subtotal so right here dollar item arrow subtotal all right and now just copy this item arrow name and paste inside the image alt tag and for inside the, this inside this link uh, simply add here curly bracket double curly bracket route and inside this 
by your product dot details and simply pass here the argument slug arrow dollar item arrow model arrow slug Also add model inside this image. So write here model arrow image and for the product name also write here model arrow name. Also add here the model arrow name. Alright, and for the regular files, also add here the model arrow regular files. Alright, now it good. Okay. And for the product summary, order summary, uh, just add here the subtotal, double curly bracket, cart, column, column, subtotal, and uh, just copy this line and after this is paste here and simply change here the text tax and just call here the tax method tax and for the total total price is right here part colon colon total Now inside this uh, card page, uh, let's display the success message. So before this type of statement, uh, let's write here at the rate if session colon colon capital S session adds uh, this key success underscore message so just copy and paste here and then that here the div class alert the space alert dash success and inside this just write here this wrong surface and after this simply print here the message station column column gate and paste here surface underscore message and then in this all right now save the file now open the details component class file so from here i have http live wire and from here just open details component.php file and inside this file uh, let's copy this function this function control function let's copy this and uh, paste inside this details component.php file alright so after this mount method let's paste here and also import the cart here so let's write here use cart alright now open the details component view file so from the resources directory resources views and here you can see the details component.blade.php file so just open this and inside this file let's find here the add to cart link uh, you can see here the add to cart so inside this anchor tag just write here wire 
colon colon click dot prevent is equal to double quote and uh, this was let's call this function a store function and inside this store function just pass here the product id double curly package dollar product arrow id and then pass here the product name to single quote double curly package dollar product arrow name and in last this pass here the product file double curly package dollar product arrow regular underscore price all right now save this file now it's done so let's check it so switch to the browser Now just refresh the page. All right. Now just go to the shop link. Okay. Here is the error. Line number sixty five. Let's check this. So just open the soft component view file and uh, here product ID product name and uh, all right here is the mistake. Double cut it back it and just move this this one. Okay, now save this file and let's check again. So just refresh the page. Alright, now it's working. Now let's add the product, any product to the card. So I'm just going to add uh, this product to the cart so just click on add to cart and you can see here the product has been added you can see here the product price and this is the subtotal and this is the tax all right and this is the total price all right now let's and you can see here the success message product success uh, item add in cart all right let's add another product so just click on shop and this time let's add this product so just click on add to cart and you can see here the another another product uh, into the cart all right and this is the subtotal tax and this is the total price all right now let's add the product into the cart uh, from the details page so first of all just go to the shop page and now just open the details page so just click on any product and you can see here this is the product detail page all right now let's click on add to cart uh, it's not working let's check this so switch to the project and just go to the details component of play.php file and uh, this is the add to cart link all right and uh, here wire
colon single colon all right where colon click dot prevent is equal to store all right now it's right now save this file and now let's check again so search to the browser and just refresh the page okay now let's click the uh, click on add to cart and here you can see here the product has been added all right try one more product uh, let's click on this product and now just click on add to cart and here you can see the product has been added all right now uh, here uh, let's show the number of product into the cart so for that switch to the project and uh, uh, let's open the base layout file so inside the resources directory views uh, layout and from here just open base.play.php file and inside this file you can see here uh, this is the cart icon all right so before this this is span tag uh, just write here at the rate if cart count is greater than zero then simply write here inside the double curly bracket cart colon colon count all right and after this just close here in there all right now save this file now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now let's add one more new item inside the cart so just open this now click on add to cart and here you can see the number of five item inside the cart all right and here you can see the number of products all right so in this way you can create the shopping cart in laravel e-commerce project in next video we will see how can we update the product quantity uh, inside this cart all right so that's all about creating shopping cart so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching